If an abuser is stalking a woman and she seeks help in a domestic violence center, there's nothing law enforcement can do to stop the harassment. That's according to Florida law. But as reporter Mike Vasalinda tells us, new legislation may soon give them a tool to use to take action. Florida is one of 19 states that require the location of domestic violence safe houses to be confidential, but it's also one of 11 nationally with no penalties for disclosure by someone other than a shelter employee. We've had uh, continuous problems over the years with um, abusers or their friends or their family finding out where the, where the shelter is located and then essentially stalking the victims outside of the shelter, waiting on them to leave. But the legislation would make it a misdemeanor for disclosing where a shelter is located. A second offense would be a felony. Multiple domestic centers in Florida have reported drones flying over the confidential shelter, recording video and publishing the information online. The legislation's already gotten tentative approval in the state Senate. A final vote could take place later this week or next. A second bill would protect the staff's identity. And they stalked one of the staffers and was demanding information about the victim. This particular staffer was so um, just horrified about the entire incident that she actually, uh, fought, uh, she actually quit. The legislation is a tool shelter directors are looking forward to having. I think it'll be a really helpful tool for law enforcement because right now they have no way to discourage or, or stop that type of behavior. The legislation could face a First Amendment challenge. If that happens, the state would have to prove it has a compelling interest in protecting victims. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Massalinda, Channel 4, the local station. A first offense for disclosing the information could land someone a year in jail and a $1,000 fine. A second offense jumps to as many as five years behind bars and a $5,000 fine.